Hello, this is a video about pseudocode, used in programming. I will be going over a few basic loops, as well as examples to show them. Variables. Most programs have variables that are affected by user input. A variable is a placeholder for values that change in a program. Instead of repeating lines of code that can execute the same process, loops can shorten and simplify programs. There are three types of loops that are suited for different purposes, but can be used in the same way. For to next is the first loop, and it is used when the number of times you want lines of code to be repeated are known. For example, adding 20 numbers and finding the average of them. Instead of typing in user input number 20 times, you can type in for count 1 to 20 user input number and add that number onto total. After 19 more times, it'll display the total divided by 20. While do and while is the second loop, and this loop checks for the condition at the beginning and might not even be executed. The amount of times this loop executes is varied. This pseudocode program is similar to the one previously, except that it gives the user an option of how many times they would like to input a number. While count is greater than one, user inputs a number, adds that number onto total, and it subtracts one from count. After count reaches one, it'll display the total number of times divided by total, which is the average. Repeat until is the third loop, and it runs at least once because the test for a condition being true is at the end of the loop. It is also a loop with a varied amount of times the code will execute. This loop is the same as the one before, except it uses a repeat loop, and count equals has to equal zero this time because it executes one more until it checks. This might be an exam question you would get on your exam. Write a program using pseudocode that allows the user to input 20 numbers and outputs the largest, smallest, as well as the average of the numbers. First, you have to find out what your variables will be. Count. You need count for the loop for how many times the program will execute. Highest for the biggest integer, like where to store the biggest integer. Lowest as well, because you need to output the smallest number. And total for the average. This is the solution. We are using the count loop because we have a determined number of times the user should input a number. Lowest has to be a very high number because if it was zero, the line if number is lower than lowest, lowest equals number, might not even execute. After it repeats 20 times, it'll divide the total by 20 and display all three of them. Thank you for watching, and I hope you are more well-versed in pseudocode.